Okay, so this is going to be my reference picture. I'm going to go by the cartoon because it's more accurate in colour, or at least I think so. So I've already got my contacts in. I'm not too sure what I got them. I'll just search up pink contacts and put on the first thing that I saw. Going with some black paint, and I already do have a top on. It's just I put the shops down because she's technically wearing a shirtless top. So using my XA Beauty paddle brush to smear black paint all over my face including into my ears and just pretty much all over my body, really. So then taking a liquid lip from Too Faced Muscle Matte Range in Ben and Snap which is a nice hot pink shade which actually uh, matches my wig and of course my contacts. I'm drawing on some hot pink brows then I'm going in with Dr. Red which is the last shade that I finally got from the same range and I'm actually going to be doing a cut crease because she has a slightly darker red on her lid but then she has silver going up to her brows but I'm taking care of the red first and at first I was using a makeup brush but then I thought you know we'll just use the actual doe foot. So now using my NYX uh, white liner to add the um, white above her eye So then I did try taking some of my base from NYX, the white base, but then that wasn't showing up so well. So I then ended up using my NYX Jumbo Stick in Cottage Cheese and that showed up really well. I just wanted to smooth out the white so that when I set over it, it's just a bit more consistent. So I did take some of a silver shadow from the Chi Chi Smokers palette and pretty much set over the base. So then taking a slightly darker grey shade and placing this into my uh, lower lash line. So then I am taking my next white liner again and adding like a very very thin line underneath the lash line because she has a bit of a highlight there. But then I took the same silver, you know when I get to that clip, I took the same silver eyeshadow and set back over it. So if you do get stuck with the little white dots from the liner, I just take a back look at the lip. This is Weirdo from Jeffree Star and just going over the dots to conceal them. Then I am taking my Benefit Roll Lash to coat up my lashes. I do already have some um, lashes on from XA Beauty, the play stack, they're the animated pointy ones. So of course my normal lash line as well. Then I am taking the same liquid lip I use for my brows and onto my lips. You know, the main purpose for them. So as for the cute little white button nose, I am using the same NYX Jumbo Stick in Cottage Cheese going across to my nose, parallel to the shape of it and then going down slightly to create the little, you know, little point. <laughs> and I did have some um, black in my wig so I just cut that off. And this is the end of the video, so thank you all so much for watching. I do really hope you enjoyed this take on Catching Noir and I shall see you for future videos. Ciao! So since the Katya Noah video was a bit short, I thought I would check on Nefera Denial, basically my take on her. So if you would like to see how I achieved this look, then please stay tuned. So this is my reference picture. I did choose to go by the animation because the colours are not clear to see, so I can't have too many chances of getting it wrong. So going in with Maybelline fits me in classic ivory foundation, which is definitely a bit pale now that I'm technically rough tanned. And by rough tan I do mean fake tan on spots. So I also chose to conceal a blemish that was still making a guest appearance and then just highlighting under my eyes with the same concealer. Then I am just using some of my BYS powder and my flawless finish sponge just to sit under my eyes. Giggling is from the ghost in the room, being my sister. So I'm also using my finished brush just to set the rest of my face because I really couldn't be bothered searching for my powder brush. I was actually on a bit of a time stretch, my battery was running low. So as far as Nefra's brows go, they are quite high and arch, almost very feminine looking. I hope I'm not offending anyone with that word feminine. So basically just adding like a nice high arch, still going in with my pomade, but then I will eventually be going in with some black shadow because obviously Nefra has black eyebrows. So I am just going through with some of the same concealer and cleaning up using my individual concealer brush just to sort of sharpen up the brows a little bit. 
so pretty much the top and the bottom where I feel it needs to be a little bit um, slimmer and brought in. Then I am taking some of Wanted, I'm pretty sure it's Wanted from the Nikki Tutorials palette because Nephri does have black brows. I didn't want to go um, in with black brows to begin with, I wanted to build my way out to it so I had to pull my first and then setting over it with this black shadow but also getting myself black brows in the process. So getting started on my eye makeup, I am primer with my Nikki Tutorials Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer and blending that in with my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush just to get it all going and then I am setting over with the same powder and my Beauty Blender. Then I am starting the makeup off with this bottom shade here from my Modern Renaissance palette. I'm not too familiar with the shade names, but if you know the colours off by heart, by names, then awesome. But I am taking this onto my eyelid and sort of up into my crease as well. Then I am taking the shade directly above it as my brow bone highlight in the effect. And because I couldn't find my Kat Von D palette anywhere, I did end up taking my um, Beware S1, which is a pretty much a close second. Taking the blue from the palette using my uh, dual ended artist mannequin brush I've just had for eons. I am placing the blue directly between the golden colour and the yellow tone shadow. And then placing that same um, brow bone highlight shade under my lash line. Then I am going in with Weirdo from Jeffree Star and my XC Beauty eyeliner brush and I'm going to get started on doing my eyeliner. I printed it as per usual but then I added like a little hook or a little loop as way Nefra has her makeup. So for both eyes. Then taking a black from the ABH Lip Pro palette and a Eco Tools, I'm pretty sure this is an Eco Tools brush, it's one of my sisters. I was using the smaller end of the brush just to line my lower lash line. So then, so then with the detail inside of her eye, I'm adding an extended line going out from my lash line. So now I am slightly drawing it down, so almost like an upside down pizza shape or an upside down triangle. Then I am filling the rest in with the same liquid lip that I used to do my eyeliner. So then being brave and taking a faint from the Urban Decay Basics palette, I am going to be using this on the eyeshadow brush that the Model Renaissance palette comes with. I am going to be using a smaller M to contour my nose and it's going quite harsh because the animation has it quite harsh but as far as my human face goes I do blend it into a more acceptable shade. That doesn't make any sense, but you know what I mean. Then I am taking my Ace and Tour palette to contour at first but then of course going through and I will then be taking this shade and front it with my face because I did technically do a rough tan like fake tanning on the spot and waiting forever for it to start developing but still I still did going with a bit more bronze so yeah. So then I am taking the more golden highlighter shade and obviously highlighting my face but then I do go in with um, Vermeer just to go on top of that just to enhance it some more on the main points of my face. So then diving into my lash lip balm just to moisten up my lips, I've been taking this brown shade from the same Lip Pro palette as the brown shade that she has but I also do go in with a different more red tones um, shade just to add some more dimension to the lip and a bit more contrast. So this shade here just to add a little bit more of colour to it so a more red tone brown. Yeah, no fix right for me because <laughs> I couldn't find it anyway. So thank you all so much for watching these two videos in one. I do really hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you all for the rest of my videos. Ciao!